Hey everybody, welcome to Daily Motivation. I just want to give it a couple of minutes here. Hey Jazz. And I appreciate everyone taking their time to watch this this morning or if you have a chance to watch this later. And welcome to Daily Motivation, 365 Days of Consistency. Um, doing the same things over and over again until they become habit. And today, I wanted to talk about business. Business, right? Many of us may watch this channel, may watch this show, may know me personally, are small business owners or entrepreneurs. And I was just having a conversation. If you haven't checked me out with Candy Bryan, please check out our page. That's candybryan.com, where we just had an interview uh, about Right to Grow Rich. And after, I think the conversation we had after off offline was probably even more intriguing than the one online. And uh, so now I wanna mention what we were talking about offline. We we're talking about the infamous business. Why eight out of nine, 10 small businesses fail within the first 10 years. And this is abundantly true because of three things. Three things is we don't spend our time understanding and learning business, investing, and taxes. Three things that are very boring. <laughs> I had a conversation with my friend once, and he was like, man, you're rich, yeah, I wanna be wealthy. And I said, man, becoming wealthy is very boring. <laughs> so you gotta get used to the boring stuff if you actually want an increase in abundance. Because those are the three main things that we need in order to become better at our business. Sometimes we think, hey, if I have a product and a service, I'm good to go. But business are two things. Tony Robbins said business are two things innovation and marketing. So if you're not innovating in your industry, you're not a business. And if you're not marketing in your industry, you're not a business. Now marketing doesn't mean you have to send postcards out, commercials all day, but what marketing is, is your brand, your word of mouth. When you approach people and people know who you are, how do they consider you? Like for the simple fact that when somebody thinks of books, they think of Rich Fontaine. To me, that means I've branded myself well enough that I am attached to a certain subject. Now, if you're if somebody thinks of your a certain subject and your name doesn't pop up, that means you're not marketing yourself well enough. Like my wife, everyone knows her for her eyelashes, for the lashes that she does. Why? Because she marketed herself well enough that people surrounding her and references, people are saying, "Oh, you want lashes? You need to go to her." So, understanding business is paramount in creating the life that you want. Because I thought this whole pandemic really showed how we lack in business knowledge. That Bill Gates said he keeps a six months reserve for all of his business. So if everything goes to zero, he can up keep his business for six months. Most people don't have it for two weeks, which we've seen. And so if you are going to be a business, you have to think, how does McDonald's think? How does Walmart think? How does the CEO of uh, Amazon think? How does Jeff Bezos think? How does Jack Ma think? Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Uh, thank you guys again for watching. If I don't shout your name out, just I can't see you. So how are these big businesses thinking? And if you're not thinking in the same way as they're thinking, you're behind the eight ball. Because there's always going to be somebody that's going to put in the work and the effort to know your business better than you do. Investing, knowing where to put your money, then it comes back to you. That's all what an economy is. Econ is a cycle, is a cycle. What I put in, I get back to me. I put something in, it comes back to me. I put something in, it comes back to me. But most of us have a consumer mindset that we spend money. If you ever heard the great Reverend Ike, he says, never say you spend money, you have to circulate money. It's a different way of thinking. See, the big businesses, they circulate their money. Every time they sign a check, they say, how can this money come back to me? How is this coming back to me? So if you are spending money on a new car and that car is not being filtrated through your business, you are behind the eight ball. Why? Because you're spending money. You're not getting anything circling back. If it's through your business, now, if it's through your business, you can write it off on your taxes. You can write it off on your taxes. Which brings me to number three, understanding taxes. Again, getting wealthy is very boring. <laughs> uh, being successful is very, very boring if you break it down. 
because you have to understand taxes. And I remember I was telling uh, Candy earlier that I bought this comprehensive tax book in 2016. It was an investment of $300. This investment of $300 made me back thousands. Made me back thousands. So $300 plus a couple of hours of study time and reading time made me thousands of dollars. Why? Because I understand to become a good business owner, I have to understand where my money is going. And the tax law tells you, okay, if you spend your money on this, you get a deduction, which will be returned back to you. If you do not spend your money on this, we keep it. <laughs> the IRS keeps your money. And so if you're going to be a good business owner, I would take time to understand business books. Um, Tony Robbins has some really good business books. Um, Robert Kiyosaki has really good business books. Um, even Tony Robbins has a course online that you can take for business. Also, taxes. Nobody really teaches taxes. So I went through the legit tax course that, to teach CPA. So I want to know what my CPA knows. So when I sit down with a CPA, I can have a real conversation. Versus them saying, well, you can't deduct that. Okay, well, then my money's gone. See, that's going to kill you. So if you understand, if you have a real conversation with your tax professional, they could say, okay, they cannot underhand you. And learn how to do your taxes yourself. Or if you don't do your taxes yourself, learn the taxes so you can have a real conversation. Do not let somebody know more about your business than you do. Don't let anyone know about your business more than you do. You should be an expert at your business, all aspects. I even have a spreadsheet. So every money that I spend in my business, even in my personal life, I know that money will come back to me through the IRS. And even if the IRS audited me, I have a whole spreadsheet that tells me how many miles I've used for my business, how much gas I use for my business, what clothes did I have to buy for my business, what plane trips did I take for my business. Um, even if I purchase a car, is the cars through the business, through the LLC. I'm an LLC better for tax rights off and protecting growing business. Yes, Elizabeth, yes it is. So having an LLC, a limited liability corporation, also, also understand what S-Corp, because if you go through an, an S-Corp, through an LLC, you can even get more taxes back. Because I even called a tax professional, I had a conversation with them, I said, hey, you know, I'm thinking of starting an S-Corp, what are my benefits and not benefit? Learning these things will help you become the business professional that you are. If you do not know where your money is going, you're not a great profitable business. Why? Because I promise you, McDonald's CEO looks at his numbers every day. Warren Buffett looks at the Pepsi or uh, Coke, Coca-Cola's stats every day. They know where the money's going, where the money's coming back. You have to be diligent in your business because if you're not, you'll have somebody tell you things that aren't true that'll take advantage of you because you don't know. So understanding how to be a business professional, understanding investing. Why do why do the top country or the top businesses invest? All of them do. All the top businesses invest. McDonald's invests. McDonald's owns the most real estate on the planet. McDonald's owns the most real like churches are the highest real estate owners on the planet and they're a nonprofit business. So they're getting their profit somewhere. <laughs> and the tax law, they understand if they have a church, the tax law benefits them having a church that owns real estate. So again, people don't know this. And they're like, okay, well, I don't know my money's going. I don't know where my money's going. Because you're not circulating your money. We're not putting our money in places that are going to get us to get back. It depends on the type of business. It does. Um, so contracting. I, uh, I'm a contractor. It helps me to be a contract that's an escort versus my publications on an LLC, right? So there's, there's many different ways, loopholes, I can't tell you this in a live, but I've constantly spent years of listening to businesses. And I know many people, especially in the self-development, I, I just wanna learn the mindset, Rich. I just wanna be hyped, I wanna be inspired, I wanna be motivated, that's great. The mindset is the most important part, but if you don't have systems, if you don't know strategies, if you don't know what you're doing and know where you're going, you'll leave yourself open for attack. To lose a business, that means so much to you. So if you spent so much time building this business up, why not spend the time to truly understand business? Just because you open up an LLC doesn't mean you have a business. You have a business when it's sustained, marketed, and clients coming on a consistent basis, which takes different aspects of marketing and innovation. 
But the three things that you must learn and spend time learning is business, because you are a business, so you have to learn about you, uh, investing, how do these businesses invest that they are able to recirculate their money? And the money they get back, the profits, they, they're able to expand these profits with interest payments because they know where to put their money. They know how to reinvest their money. And three is understanding taxes. The most boringest thing on the planet is understanding taxes, but it makes you money. Again, a $300, $300 investment makes me thousands of dollars every year. One $300 investment helps me understand, uh, help me, helps me get thousands of dollars per year in tax returns because I understand where to put the money. So if you're a business, please take your time. You don't have to take this course. This is what I took. It's the comprehensive tax course. You don't have to take it. I have no affiliate. I just, this is what I use. So you could learn taxes, learn the business, the marketing, innovation side and learn investing. Because if you're a business and you're not investing your earnings, you're losing money on the table. I promise you, AT&T takes your profits and they invest it in funds. They invest it in funds. Some of the highest um, uh, uh, investors take business money and they reinvest it for a fund. You have to love what to do to be successful, absolutely but you have to know what you're doing. The problem is, yes, there's a part where the hairy fairy's gonna get you there. It is, you know, I feel good, I feel positive, I'm a positive person, all this stuff. It's gonna get you to a certain point, but only to a certain point, because you're gonna be playing with some people that know more about your business. And if they can take your business model, they could up it three, four, five times because they know about business, they know about investing, they know about taxes. Because it's not the money that you make that makes you wealthy. It's the money that you can keep and that can recycle to flow back to you. I'm going to repeat that. It's not the money that you get that makes you wealthy. It's the money that you can keep, recirculate to come back to you. That's all, that's all it is. And the only way to know that is to learn, to learn about business, investing, and tax. Again, this is more of a system. You know, I could always hype people up all, all day long. I could balloon you. <laughs> but I'd rather give you strategies. What I do every day, I've been doing since 2016, uh, that helps sustain me so, you know, I can help keep my business afloat no matter what. Again, this is Rich Fontaine. Thank you, Elizabeth, for all your comments. Thank you, Jazz. Uh, thank you for everyone like. Thank you, Ed. Uh, I can't see everyone, but thank you everyone who took their time to like. Please like, please share, please comment. And this is for you. If you're a business owner and you're a business professional, these are things that you need to know. Because we saw with this pandemic that it takes us a, a little gust of wind to knock the whole thing over. Again, this is Rich Fontaine. If you agree with me or not agree with me, but either way I feel, this was successful conversation. Love is love. I appreciate all of you. Namaste.